too good. I can't do it. I can't pull it off. Our next speaker, he spent a year and a half working with nonprofits in Haiti, focusing on sustainable community development and orphan prevention. He witnessed many of the unintended consequences of foreign aid. He's now a co-founder of an acceleration program for social enterprises right here in North Texas. Please put your hands together for Tim Gerges. Hey everyone, so as uh, mentioned, I am Tim, and I live most of my life here in Dallas, uh, but I have also spent a year and a half of my life spending time with nonprofits working on uh, community development initiatives as well as orphan care uh, initiatives. Here's one of my teams um, in Haiti, um, and I learned a lot of lessons while I was there. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about one. Um, and I tried to sum it up, but uh, our good friends Bill and Ted know how to say it best, so be excellent to everyone, right? Um, no, but in, in all seriousness, um, I want to talk about dignity. Um, so I think, that, <laughs> I think that deep down we all understand that as human beings we all possess a certain form of dignity. Um, this is why we have such strong emotional reactions to injustice in the world, and Lord knows there's plenty of it. Um, things like poverty, hunger, uh, orphans, um, let's, let's continue um, talking about orphans here in a second. Um, the, the, these things often drive us to action, which is great. Um, it's great that they drive us into action, acting on issues that we see in the world. But the problem is that often, too often, um, it drives us into action that is seeking to address symptoms of a much deeper issue that we have stumbled upon. And so in the process of trying to address an issue, we in turn uh, further violate the dignity of the people that are most affected by whatever issue it is. Um, so in Haiti, there's over 750 orphanages uh, that are registered by the, the country, um, which is a lot. And about 80% 80, 80 of the kids that live in these orphanages aren't actually orphans. They have families that are living uh, and sometimes in the community right immediately around where they're at, uh, which obviously begs the question, why are they there? So uh, the reason that they're there is a, is a lot of these kids' families don't have the ability to provide for their families. Uh, they can't provide because unemployment in Haiti is hovering around 60%. Um, now, we've done a lot of things to try and address needs in Haiti. Um, as a country, we started subsidizing rice and shipping it down to, uh, to Haiti to sell at a cheap rate so that everybody could purchase food. Well, the problem is that, as you can see behind me, um, Haitians were already making rice. And in turn, as, as we started, all this, all this rice started arriving uh, and selling at a cheaper price point than any of these guys could afford to sell it at, they started running out of business. And so, it, per it perpetuated the cycle of migration into the city centers and into slums where these men and women that previously had employment and had a means of making a living were now looking for other job opportunities that a lot of the time don't exist. Um, the same thing has happened with clothing, where we're literally shipping boatloads of free clothes to Haiti every single year. Now, these people are perfectly well and capable of creating their own garments. So we're clearly missing the mark. Um, we've clearly taken the uh, presence of dignity and further uh, contributed to the issue. So in contrast, I want to talk about a couple people that have understood the real needs that exist and have gone about finding ways to address them. So uh, you'll see a, a buddy of mine, Fred, he decided to create his own fish farm. Um, that's Fred, good dude. Um, he created his own fish farm in which he's producing a locally sourced food um, for his community and also providing jobs for people as he continues to scale his business. Um, and then another friend of mine, Shelly, uh, created her social enterprise called Papillon Enterprise. They sell this beautiful jewelry um, that's pr uh, produced using recycled goods from around the country. Um, she's currently pro providing jobs for over 300 people, which in Haiti, the average family is about four to five uh, kids. So you do the math, that's about 12 to 1,500 kids that have been kept potentially out of the orphanage system. 
Um, so they're making a major impact while also contributing to the dignity of these communities. So my challenge to you is that the next time you come across an issue that you are deeply moved by, that you want to act on, that you would find somebody who is directly impacted from that issue and, and understands it on a more intimate level than you ever could and, and seek to understand what it is that makes that issue so, uh, so dire. Um, and in the presence, you'll dignify their experience and, and if you bring them along the way as part of a solution, I think that we might actually get to change the world.